What is going on, everybody? This is Striker, welcoming you to episode number 159 of my Minecraft Let's Play, guys. So, in the last episode, we found ourselves over here, inside of this ravine. I almost fell to my death on accident. Hold up. Inside of this ravine, right? This is a ravine that was connected to our original ravine that we had found underneath the house. And we are back here with my workstation, right? And we are creating a spawner. A spawn XP farm. At least that's the intent. I had a little bit of entity lag there, but that's okay. That'll happen. So anyways, that's what we're doing today. This video is actually going to be a couple of minutes short. Probably it's going to be about 12 minutes or so in total for length. And then, um, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow could be episode number 160, or I could do a different video. I'm not sure. I'll figure out what's happening tomorrow, and I'll get back to you with that tomorrow. So that's just going to put us all on edge here to see what we're actually going to be doing. But nonetheless, I am currently on break from work. I have an hour break on Thursdays because I go from our main office that I work in, and then I go to our satellite office, which is in the hospital. So from about 11.30 to 12.30, I have a break. <clears throat> but today... <clears throat> But today, I have a bunch of stuff in the back of my throat, apparently. Uh, but today, I actually took it from 11.45 to 12.45. So, yes. Normally, I have a half-hour lunch break, but because there's a drive involved, I get that extra half-hour for that drive. So I'm recording during that break, so I can get this up to you guys by the evening. And actually, just so I don't mess up my hair, I'm not wearing my headset. <laughs> that might sound a little bit ridiculous, but I, I'm not wearing my headset, so if something sneak up sneaks up behind me, I won't know until I already take damage, and then I'll freak out and jump, and then I'll have my heart race and everything like that. So it'll be fun for you guys to experience if something were to sneak up in here behind me or anything like that while I'm taking out these walls and stuff. So basically, we're doing what we did Back when we did the zombie XP farm, that, I don't know what episode that happened in, but I do know that it was quite a while ago. So what we're doing is we are building a box around this. We're making a 9x9 nine nine box, so in every direction around the spawner, we have to clear out four blocks. Alright, so that's what we're doing. So we need to do that, and then we'll have to figure out a way to get them all over to a collection area and everything like that. So we're already done on three of our walls. This fourth wall is actually not even in existence yet. So we're going to have to create the fourth wall here, which is pretty cool. You know, give us something to do here. And then we also have to dig this thing down. So let's go ahead and build this box out all the way. And then I'm going to install my patent pending corner lighting systems. So basically when we go to finish this off, all I have to do is dig around this and then break this block. It'll drop all the torches that are in here because it'll remove all the wall torches. So it'll break all the torches and then it'll, everything will fall. Skeletons would pick them up if they were zombies, but it's whatever. We'll lose a couple of blocks, a couple of torches. No big deal. Um, let's just let's just make sure this is stupidly overlit over here, right here, there. That's going to be our main issue. I'm going to have to go back through here and start lighting up more. Uh, just because it will distract from the spawn rating of these these guys, these super duper skeletons that we're going to have spawning in here. So I'm going to have to do that make sure that the only place that they have available for them to spawn is inside of this box. Because, you know, we're trying to collect them for our XP gains and such, you know, and for our items. Item itemary gains? That's not a, a word, but it is now. Okay, so let me take this floor torch away. And then patent pending light corner. Boom. Oh, just kidding. Boop. Alrighty, and then I guess if you have an end rod, you can put it underneath that block and break it as well. And that would be kind of cool. Uh, this floor is going to get taken out here, so I'm not too worried about that block sticking out there. Alrighty, now we just got to be careful because there it, are some instances where these things can start spawning again because it's not well lit. So we might have a skeleton spawn on top of our head if we move far enough away from the center of this, this spawner. And that, that's just going to happen, and that's okay. So, oh gosh, see, told you. I jumped real bad right there. Yeah, Dead it. Okay. Let's go ahead and plop some torches. Actually, for the time being, we'll do, we'll do this. All right. And then once we get to, to moving things, I'll build out, take all of these torches out and everything. But that'll keep things from spawning like that. 
literally gave me a heart attack, so, you know. And then I will be replacing all these blocks, obviously, with our portal here. We can move it. It does have a little bit of wiggle room, but not a whole lot, as we found out that we're real close to portal clipping with the main portal. So I'll do like that. I'll actually turn this into a, a complete square here. So now we're stuck in our box. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got one more patent pending corner light that I need to put in here. There we go. Boom. And we're good to go. So now we got to dig this down, right? So we are currently on block level one here underneath the spawner. Now we have to take this four blocks underneath the spawner. And then we also have to do a little bit of modification in here because skeletons can spawn on top of the spawner and then they won't move because there's nowhere for them to go, right? So we have to block that off. It takes away some spawning areas that are possible for them, but that's just what we've got to do. I guess we're going to make this our escape route. We'll do that. Probably should have brought some ladders. I might have some sticks actually in my ender chest. I do. And then I don't have a crafting bench, but I do in here. Boom. Now our workstation is actually looking like a workstation. So we're going to need a couple sets of ladders here. So we can at least facilitate our movement in and out of here. Do I happen to have another water bucket? I do not. So I'm going to have to find a water source eventually. That way I can make an unlimited water source here. Because we're going to need to be creating that water elevator. And uh, the difference between the zombie elevator and this water elevator is this one has some slight modifications to it in order to better facilitate the moving of zombies. Or not zombies, of the skeletons, rather. It, it would do the same thing for the zombies, except for back when I created it, Minecraft was in a different version, and that other water elevator worked just as well. So there was no point to do any additional work in order to change it to, way, to the way that I'm going to do it. So we will get that figured out here, and that's obviously going to come here in a later episode. Not quite sure, like I said, if we're going to do episode 160 tomorrow, or if we're just going to hold that off for the next set of uploads and do the special then. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. So let's go ahead and start with these ladders. Okay, so we are now currently two blocks underneath, so we got to go down two more. So we'll dig this out, and then we will have our box completely filled out. Then we have the decision on where do we want to put our collection area, because that's going to change the way that we uh, go about this here. So we have to figure out if we want to put it towards the portal on the other side of the portal, if we want to put it on the left side or the right side. We probably won't do the right side just because it's exposed to the ravine, but I'm, hey, that might be kind of cool. That might be kind of cool. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. So i have to figure that out. <clears throat> I'm telling you, this junk in my throat, it's because I had that sore throat and now my sore throat is breaking, so like, we're at the end of its lifespan and everything, so it, it's trying to get rid of itself, and in order to do that it has to get rid of all that extra phlegm and junk, literally junk. Alright, so now we're on this last level here, it should be four blocks at this point underneath, and we do have our ladders in which we can use to get up, and our lighting should still be okay. But just in case, that way I don't get gang gang popped on, there we go, instead of saying a, a worse phrase, uh, by these skeletons, I will put some extra lights down, which we can just get rid of easy peasy when we put down the water here. So I'm not sure how far we're going to be able to get in this today, but we're going to put all of these up like this, one in each corner. That's close enough to the corner. I don't care about the iron currently, so we have a nice 9x9 box and this is all for the skeletons to spawn into so let's go ahead and see what it's like over here where's the side where's the edge of my box here's the edge of my box so we're gonna do like this boom that's the edge so if we wanted to we'll have to replace that torch because I need that that high lighting level here I need to find the middle of the box it's not the middle right there this is the middle of that box Okay, right here. Yes, right here. So, what we can do is we can do something kind of fancy here, alright? I said I probably wasn't going to do the collection area over here on the ravine, but I think it would actually be kind of cool if we, like, made it into a glass enclosure. Like, a, a little glass dome that came down, so even with, like, a little glass floor, so you can look down, see the ravine, see what's happening and everything like that. Just because it's like natural terrain build instead of just a, another man-made box like we have with the zombie spawner, I think it'll look kind of cool. 
that's the idea we're gonna roll with actually I think I think it's gonna be kind of okay like it's gonna be okay so I will have to plan this out and figure out what the best look is gonna be how I'm gonna facilitate all of this business I think I've said the word facilitate like three or four times so we'll probably have some sort of chest area over this way most likely and obviously these ceilings are gonna get higher and all that am I still picking up stuff yes we're good okay so I'll have a collection area for items most likely over here and then the the skeletons will be over this way right so yeah we can do that we can do that for sure for sure okay so that means we're gonna have our water is gonna be back here and I need at this point is where I need another source of water shoot all right well we can make our endless water supply right over here we can do it like that, and then actually just close this back off. That way you can't walk into it, can't get stuck on it, and it can just chill over there. So we need to hop down real quick. Hop down and get your eagle on. We need to hop down here and snag this water that I saw over here on the right. Or does it start up here in the wall? Ooh, that's easy peasy to grab right there. Just jump down here. No, come on. There we go. Do that. And then I will build back up here with the cobble. And now we're, oops, just kidding, that's closed off on that angle, and we're good to go. Now we've got our water source, and then do we have any iron that we have on us in our chest? No, we don't, because I need a second bucket. All right, well, we'll take one bucket at a time then. We'll just do it like this. Let me get this torch back, pop it back up another level there. All right, that'll be okay, and then we'll go ahead and grab... We'll grab another bucket of water here. And right as I place the second bucket of water, actually, I think we're going to call it a day. Like I said, this video was going to be about 12 minutes long, and we're at that, that mark right here. So we do have a little bit of work to go here to set up this water system in order to push them together to that collection area, guys. So I'm going to sign off for my little nook and cranny in here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.